everyone. Well, I think I just figured out why Scandinavian countries are some of the wealthiest countries in the world. So I wanted to share this with you because this is something that needs to be done around Christmas time. So in Scandinavia, there is a charming tradition of scattering bird seed outside one's home on Christmas Eve. It is believed that if you provide a feast for wild birds on Christmas morning, that will bring lots of fortune and good luck to one's homes. So on Christmas Eve, bird seed is scattered on doorsteps, on fence lines, and even on rooftops. And then in Sweden in particular, at the end of each harvest, the last sheaf of grain is saved to be then interwoven into an edible Christmas wreath for birds. And then on Christmas Eve, that wreath is put up on the pole or even on the rooftop. And then in the morning, on Christmas morning, birds have plenty of things to eat, bringing plenty of fortune to that household. And if that's not enough, on December 26th, Boxing Day as we know it here in Ireland, it's St. Stephen's Day or Wren Day, you know, the Wren the bird, years ago killing a wren and then parading it around the town, knocking on people's doors, asking for donations, was also meant to bring fortune. These days, no wrens are killed, a fake one is used instead, but the festivities and the donation collections continue. Earlier this year, Bill Harris witnessed two grackles in mortal battle with their beaks locked, scrapping with each other until they were broken up by a red-winged blackbird. Bill has never seen such violent behavior around his bird feeders. Hi, Bill. Real knockdown, drag-out fights certainly do occur fairly frequently in the bird world. It's most commonly seen between birds fighting over a resource, like a territory, and it can certainly lead to death. For example, I've learned of accounts of peregrine falcons using their talons to tear out the throats of other members of their own species in an attempt to take over a nesting territory in a city. And those are to be expected among birds which are armed with hook beaks and strong toes equipped with razor sharp talons. But as you witnessed yourself, songbirds are not timid about getting into it tooth and nail either. I'll never forget a pair of superb starlings wrapped up in a vicious fight in the grass uh, to the point where they didn't even care there were humans standing only a few feet away. It went on for at least five full minutes. Even when I broke them apart, they sought each other out and continued with their vicious brawling. A songbird usually employs its beak to grab onto the other bird's feathers and even grasping them with its feet. Every morning in Baja, I throw out chicken scratch and end up attracting about 30 white-winged doves. But these ill-mannered and somewhat selfish birds seem to spend more time aggressively flicking their wings at each other than actually feeding on the plentiful seed. And that's likely what you were seeing in your two grackles. They were fighting over access to the feeder. Such birds do eventually break up their fight when one dominates the other. What I can't explain though is the intrusion by that red-winged blackbird. Perhaps it was concerned that the noisy fighting grackles were going to attract the attention of a hawk or a cat and decided to break things up for the betterment of all concerned. Have you ever seen a toe in your backyard? The eastern one here on the east coast and the spotted one in the west? Some years we see them more often than others, but it's been a few years since the last visit. Their name, Toei, mimics the name of their call. I actually heard one before I saw it when I was visiting one of the bird sanctuaries in Massachusetts in May. Even though towies belong to the New World Sparrow family, unlike all the other sparrows that look kind of similar to each other, Toeys are the easiest to identify because no other sparrow has these intense black, rusty and white colors. Females' heads and back are kind of subdued brown, but males are coal black. And then if you're in the area where you're not sure whether you have a spotted towie or an eastern towie, well, the spotted ones have spots on their back and wings and the eastern ones don't. 
Eastern toes have this uh, funny two foot scratch method. They use both feet simultaneously to scratch at the ground, looking for some bugs, especially the bugs hidden under dead leaves. And like many other birds, their diet during their breeding season is insects and bugs. And then they kind of switch to grains and uh, berries in the winter. I've received pictures from customers out west of spotted towies in our bird feeders. Haven't never really seen any Eastern ones. So if you've captured them on bird feeders like ours send them over they'll be fun to see that towies are very good parents they can have one to three broods depending where they are geographically regular size clutches three to five eggs if you want to attract them to your backyard make sure you have plenty of brush piles and dead leaves what a beautiful contest we had. I wish that I could paint or draw like many of the participants. And since it's the holiday season, all top five will receive a prize. Let's check them out. Well, that was the last contest of 2023. Here are 2024 themes. We will be changing a few things around, so stay tuned. And January is bird drama. Well, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you for all your support. Have a wonderful time with your friends and your family. I'll catch you in 2024.